Hey guys, today we are going to talk about what happens when a deck sees more play in modern and the fact that the spikes for the individual cards actually happen at different times. So it's not like a deck becomes popular and the entire deck spikes at the same time. What normally happens is one card spikes and then a week or two later, a second card will spike hard. So we saw that with Death Shadow and the Death Shadow card that paired well with it is Misho's Bobble. Now Death Shadow was the card and it's been recently reprinted so it's not as valuable as it was when it went up from bulk to $14, $15, even to $18 at one point in time. But we can take that as a model of what happens when a deck becomes popular in the modern format. So Death Shadow becomes popular. Death Shadow is the first card to spike. It is the name card. Makes a lot of sense. Bobble spikes again. And then Bobble spikes one more time after Gitaxian Probe is banned. And people were saying, oh, it's the end of Death Shadow. But Death Shadow retools and survives. It's still a tier one deck. It's still one of the strongest, if not the strongest deck in modern right now. So what happened was it relied more on the Bobble than the Gitaxian Probe. Although Gitaxian Probe was a huge loss. It could still exist as a very popular, very high win percentage deck. Now, let's talk about this deck. 42 land swans, and if we can see a pattern, so the next time there is a popular deck, we can see if we can go ahead and purchase the second card spikes. Normally when the first card spikes, it's already too late because it's almost 24 to 48 hours instantaneously. And if you're ordering from a smaller store or a less trustworthy vendor, they will probably decline your order because they feel like you are ordering it because it's going to spike, even if you just wanted a playset for your deck. So in this deck, 42 lands, and it uses swans. You don't have to use that. There is a version of it that uses zombie hunt. It's called zombie hunt. Very similar, and it does something slightly different. But Seismic Assault right now is a $12, 12 to $12.5 card. It has gone down in price a little bit from to $8 to $9, but it did hit that peak. And when we're talking about card prices, when we're talking about peaks, it's still going to be at least a $8 card or at least a $6 card, which is way more than it used to be. It was not played in any other deck except for this deck. So that card spikes really hard first, and then the second spike happens. And the second spike is Swans of Bryn Algo. I know that's probably not the way to pronounce it, but okay. I'll wait for people to comment how to pronounce it right now. The second spike is more obvious because it's a combo. Like this is your combo piece, right? This is the second piece of the puzzle. So when we saw the seismic assault spike almost instantaneously after the deck became more popular, we didn't see the second spike in the swans until a week, a week and a half later. So had you ordered that card, you would be well off now. And that is what has happened with Death Shadow in Misa's Bobble. It turns out Bobble wasn't reprinted. It turns out that good tax and probe was banned. And therefore, the price of this little uncommon from Coat Snap, it's like $50 now, right? That's crazy. That is a crazy, crazy price. And the fact that it's uncommon makes Coat Snap boxes NVP. I mean, if you were sitting on a ton of Coat Snap boxes, congratulations, you're sitting on Alliance boxes now. Even better than Alliance because Force of Will got reprinted and Coat Snap has some EDH playables, although... You know, the main card you're looking for is the Uncommon Bobble. Fascinating, right? So I would say if you are looking at an interesting deck and you truly believe in the deck, maybe don't buy the main card the deck is at. You know, the main function of that deck. Buy the second card. The same could be said about Malera. Malera was a $1 card for a very long time, yet she had a whole deck named after her, Malera Pod. When Pod was banned, she also had... Uh, Malera Cord, which you could cord into Kiki Jiki, or you can cord into 
you can cord into a lot of things that will combo off with the Malera, the Malera combo being the Seer, the Sacrifice Outlet, and the Kitchen Finks, or some type of combination of that combo with the Kiki Jiki and at the time Splinter Twin. Um, that's why I played. I played a combo deck mixing both of them and then the Splinter Twin got banned. So therefore, it was a lot harder to do that, the Pestamite. So when you're talking about combos and you're talking about the name of it, yes, Swans would have spiked. It's obvious. That's the name of the deck. So when you saw Seismic Assault go up in price, it was only a matter of time this 52 cent card would be $5. So obvious, right? So obvious. And you had time. You had time to pick up on this card. Anyway, that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you did pick these up or if you guys are excited for this deck. Uh, if I missed anything or if you have any cards you want me to talk about in terms of speculation, where do I see the cards? Maybe I'll do a Q&A if I have enough questions. Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave me a comment below. Bye.